three of the premiers, the leaders of Ontario, Saskatchewan and New Brunswick, plan to collaborate in the development of nuclear reactors. Each leader actually opposes the carbon tax. Uh, Scott Moe, though, of Saskatchewan, has voiced support for nuclear power as a way to cut emissions. Of course, his province is a big producer of uranium. We're joined by Reza ZIA. He's a member at large of the Society of Professional Engineers and an engineer at Canaton Power Group. It's great to see you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much for coming on. This. Just remind us, would you, is Canada's a pretty big user of nuclear power. Exactly. Uh, Canada, and specifically Ontario and New Brunswick, they enjoy a safe and clean and reliable source of energy, which is nuclear energy. And um, I would say in Ontario, anywhere from 60 to 75 percent of the power generation mm -hmm. is from nuclear sources. And uh, overall, when you look at a uh, nation, mm -hmm. it's uh, about 15 percent of our energy comes from nuclear. So these premiers are interested here in small modular reactors, uh, as opposed, to, uh, at this stage anyway, as opposed to giant multi tens of billions of dollars reactors. Can you tell us what the thinking is here? How would they work? Uh, this, this was a very great uh, news for the industry because within the industry we were always thinking that nuclear is, uh, is the prime solution or should be one of the prime solutions to address uh, carbon emission. Mm -hmm. And uh, we welcome the fact that uh, premiers are now on the same page. They, they, they appreciate the, uh, the, the facts, uh, scientific facts around uh, nuclear. And uh, why uh, small modular reactors, or SMR, uh, as it's called? Because um, there are benefits in, in, in this type of reactor design. Um, the benefit in, uh, uh, for the fact that you can install them in remote communities. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a great benefit of uh, SMRs. And uh, also the upfront cost of uh, nuclear power plants, traditional convention on nuclear power plants was always an obstacle to develop new power plants. And now when you look at SMRs, potentially they have a lower cost to start. I just think, so, you, sorry, just security though, if you're going to put one of these things in a remote community, you're going to need round the clock security, aren't you, in case, well, terrorists try to get hold of the material is one thing that comes to mind. Security in nuclear power plants uh, is uh, very well regulated uh, by our great regulator, Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, and they set the requirement and any power plant has to meet that requirement. So um, yes, like uh, any other plant, but uh, have the fact that the, these uh, uh, power plants, uh, small modular power plants, they have a uh, they have a smaller footprint compared to the conventional power plants. So, uh, I, I think the task of securing those uh, uh, plants is is doable and is possible, and it shouldn't be that challenging. And just give us an idea. Well, just tell us why there's a lot of work going on in Canada on these small modular reactors. Uh, give us an idea of how uh, is Canada a leader in this area? Canada. I, I believe is a leader, and for a simple fact, because the, the regulatory regime uh, by the Canadian Nuclear Safety Commission, CNSC, is flexible enough to welcome any type of design. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, I, I was looking at the data, there are over 150 different type of uh, SMR designs. Mm -hmm. and, and any of them could be studied by CNSC, by a regulator. So that puts us uh, up front and uh, ahead of the game mm -hmm. when it comes to SMRs because CNSC regulations are, are flexible and they look at the whole cycle of uh, management of a nuclear power plant. Mm -hmm. So yes, we are ahead of the game when it comes to our regulator. And there are nine submissions so far with the regulator, so their design is mature enough that they want to uh, mm -hmm. to submit their design uh, to get license. Because Ottawa's really backed this. Uh, in early November, Natural Resources Canada launched something it called the Small Modular Reactor Roadmap. So the federal government's all over this too. Yeah, that roadmap is interesting. It's. Uh, it's a very comprehensive package of uh, collaboration and cooperation of the provinces, um, federal government, uh, industry, and uh, regulator, uh, and then that brings uh, certainty to, mm -hmm. um, to probably investment in a small modular reactor in SMRs. Um, 
<clears throat> will they, how cheap will they be, though? The economics, I've, I've seen some commentary that we're going to have to build an awful lot of these nuclear reactors, modular reactors, to get economies of scale, to actually bring the costs down. Yeah, the, the, one, of, one of the promises of uh, modular reactors is the fact that you can use common elements within other industries. For example, a, a, gener a power generator. It could come from uh, a natural gas uh, the, the generation. Uh, design or the many many uh, of the components of these uh, they could be a standard component so that's the promise to bring the cost down uh, and because they are smaller by default by design uh, they might be some of them might be portable and some of them could be fabricated in a in a shop in a mm -hmm. factory uh, it works like a battery uh, th there are different ideas how small they could be and how big they could be but uh, yes, inherently, the, the cost should be lower than conventional reactors. It's going to be hard to shed the stigma, though, of nuclear waste, for one thing. I mean, the nuclear industry has not always been candid about risks or about costs in the past. Remember the huge run-up more than a decade ago, it turned out, in the cost of Ontario nuclear power. And we in this province are still paying that. So the industry has a problem with candor. Uh, when it comes to nuclear waste, honestly, this is... Pretty much, as far as I know, the only industry that has paid up front for management of the waste. So waste management has been fully funded, and uh, there are plans to, to manage. But look at the SMRs. Um, many of these designs, they have a high concentration volume of fissile material. They, they have a smaller volume of fuel compared to conventional reactors. And, and, and like I said, there are 150 designs, and some of those designs should be great in terms of a smaller volume uh, and management of the waste. So that side is also promising. And just tell us, what's your own role? You're an engineer at Canatom Power Group. Is yes. this one of the SMR um, companies? Uh, Canatom is a joint venture between uh, SNC Lavalin, Candu Energy, and uh, Acon uh, mm -hmm. to refurbish uh, Darlington, uh, existing Darlington plant in oh. Ontario. Okay. Fascinating story. Um, I, I am, I, just let me ask you one last question. I'm looking at a commentary at the Taiyi.ca by um, M.V. Ramana, uh, who's involved uh, w with the UBC, also the author of The Power of Promise, Examining Nuclear Energy in India. And the warning from that commentator is we'll have to make thousands of these small modular reactors to actually get this thing to be economical, because in some ways you're going to have many of the costs of a big plant, but you're, uh, or the, the expenses and the complication, but you're not going to have economy of scale that you would get from a giant plant. Uh, this, this is uh, up to debate, and uh, we, we have to see that the, the design is uh, in development, mm -hmm. and obviously uh, all those great companies who came up with these different SMR designs, they understand the cost implication, uh, and I bet there are many smart people who can add to that. Yeah. Right. Reza, thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Reza Ziai is a member at large of the Society of Professional Engineers and an engineer at Canatom Power Group.